If you're looking for a clear mastery-based math program for 5th grade, I think this video will really help you decide whether Math Mammoth is perfect for your family. So stick around! Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today's video, I'll be diving into Math Mammoth Level 5. Math Mammoth Level 5 builds a strong foundation for upper elementary math. It's about deepening understanding of key concepts that students will need for middle school. There are so many reasons why we love Math Mammoth and some of the few is it is mastery based and second is because it is self-teaching format. I don't have to teach them unless they need my help. They will just let me know that they need help, but most of the time they will just do it independently. Math Mammoth is inexpensive. Math Mammoth workbooks also offers plenty of practice. You think your child needs more practice? It's there already. So there are two workbooks for each level. So level 5A and then this is 5B and this is the grade tests this is the grade 5 tests and cumulative reviews and of course the answer key the reason that there are two work texts is because Maria uh, divided the chapters in 5A there are five chapters or lessons in 5a first and foremost uh, so this is the front table of contents and then forward from the author and then there's also a user guide and there's a link So chapter one is the four operations introduction. And there's also a suggested uh, schedule in here like the lessons in chapter one. First lesson is warm up, mental math. And then page 13, you, there are two pages. And then the suggested pacing is one day. And you can also, it's up to you if you want two days or it's up to you. So we're homeschoolers, so completely up to us. If we want them to do two pages a day, what we do is we work on two pages a day. And there's also a QR code that you, you can scan and you can find help, helpful resources. And then chapter two, large numbers and the calculator. This is the introduction to that chapter. And again, the suggested uh, number of days that you can work on. The problems are in here. I love this part. Uh, this is to teach your children how to use a calculator. How awesome. So this is chapter 3, problem solving, introduction. Again, there's a pacing suggestion for each chapter and this is for chapter three i am not going to flip every page because it's gonna look the same i will just give you an overview and this is chapter four decimals part one part two is in the book b to the last chapter of this work text which is the graphene so let's go to page 173 so chapter 5 is graphene and this is the introduction and again the pacing suggestion for chapter 5 is in here this lesson exceeds the common core standards for fifth grade uh, math mammoth is advanced so it looks like this, all the graphings. So that's work text A. Let's move on to work text B. It has four lessons or chapters. Front cover, table of contents. 
So, Vortex B will start on chapter 6, Decimals Part 2. Let's go to page 11. So, this is it. Introduction. And multiply and divide by powers of 10. 1. We love the math mama. It's straightforward. Multiply decimals by decimals one. Multiply decimals by decimals two. Let's go to chapter seven on page sixty-seven. Chapter seven: fractions, add and subtract. Introduction. So the basic suggestion for chapter 7 is long because there are more uh, lessons in here. Fraction terminology, review mixed numbers, adding mixed numbers, subtracting mixed numbers 1, subtracting mixed numbers 2, and that is optional. Equivalent fractions 1 and then fractions 2, adding and subtracting unlike fractions, finding the least common denominator, add and subtract more practice, adding and subtracting mixed numbers, comparing fractions, word problems, measuring in inches. And this is the suggested pages and how many days and your own pacing. It's up to you again. There's also a puzzle corner at the end of the lesson. To chapter 8, that's page 119. So chapter 8 is about fractions, multiply and divide. And this is the introduction and again the pacing suggestion for chapter 8. Simplifying fractions 1. Multiply fractions by fractions 1. And the last chapter is chapter 9. It's all about geometry. And this is the introduction. Area and perimeter problems. This lesson is optional. So there's always an optional activity. So it's completely up to you if you want that for your children. That's work text 5B. This work is the tests and cumulative reviews. Every chapter has a chapter test. For example, chapter 7. And mostly it's only a page or two. Well, this one is her pages, but mostly it's a page or two. This is chapter 8, end of chapter test. And at the end of the school year, if you want your child to take the end of the year test for grade 5, this is actually like an uh, assessment test. <music> Lastly, this is the answer key. Oops. We love, love Math Mammoth because it is straightforward and there is no bluff. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. And I am wishing you a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. Thank you everyone. Bye.